In today's episode of the Zombie Survivor Show, we are unboxing some really sweet composite effects masks. We're also going to tell you who the winners of the M48 Double Bladed Tomahawks are. We will also be sharing who the finalists of the Design Your Own Axe, Hatchet, or Tomahawk contest are. And lastly, we will be showing you the one and only Scalagrim killing one of our Ivanheads with various weapons. All this and more in Episode 6 of the Zombie Survivor Show. So, in the last Zombie Survivor Show, and also the last Zombie Go Boom episode, I gave you the opportunity to win not just one, but two M48 double-bladed tomahawks. And the winners are... Way Too Many Llamas and one stealthy brony. Hit me up on Twitter at MeisterChuck and I'll send these babies as fast as the post office can go. Speaking of axes, hatches, and tomahawks, we had a contest where you, yes, you, could design your own axe, hatchet, and tomahawk to be made for real in order to be tested on Zombie Go Boom. We got hundreds of designs and Mitchell Design and Fabrication is gonna make one of them into an actual weapon that we will be testing on Zombie Go Boom. But right now, we've narrowed it down to six finalists. Oh yeah, cause you're gonna be the one that gets to pick a winner. Let's check out the honorable mentions and then I'll show you who the six finalists are. Here are our honorable mentions. Our six finalists are Benedict Kaz, Eric Beal, Max Curtis, Owen Woodward, Sebastian Montes Moholy, and Shalev Sohar. Go to Facebook.com slash TV to vote on your favorite right now. Now I have news, not only for the main channel, but also for Zombie Go Boom TV too. You guys may have noticed that the channel name changed to Weird Wonderful World. Were we hacked? No, we did that on purpose. And the reason why is so that we can explore making kick-ass content that may or may not involve zombies. So if you want to see something a little bit different, please go to youtube.com slash TV 2 and give us a subscribe, would ya? New videos will be coming out within the next two weeks. So what's going on with the main channel? Well, besides doing Zombie Survivor Show every Thursday and Zombie Go Boom episodes every Friday, we're gonna be doing some crazy cool narrative content on Zombie Go Boom TV, and we need zombies. It's gonna be basically short films involving zombies or music videos involving zombies. It might be parodies, it might be all kinds of stuff. Well, I emailed CFX, you guys may know them, Composite FX. If you guys have been longtime subscribers of the show, you're well aware of who they are. If you guys aren't familiar with composite effects, they make really sweet, ultra-realistic silicone masks. And they also make really sweet appliances. I talked to them about the new content that we're putting up on the main channel. They love the ideas, and they sent us some really kick-ass stuff that we're going to be using. Let's check out what they sent. Sweat dripping down my nose, this is the end of my life. I'm running scared like I'm working at Five Nights at Freddy's They will never take me alive, I will survive Looking down the barrel of a gun with one final bullet Should I end it? Nah dog, I take to the offensive Start splitting skulls like a zombie go boom weather so I've been heads get crushed in slow-mo Breaking fools like a 360 getting throwed by Smash Boogie 298 So what does it look like when you wear a composite effects mask? Well, it basically looks like a top-of-the-line Hollywood makeup artist has been working on you for eight hours. What's up? 
We're super excited to be using Composite Effects' amazing products to not only bring you more cinematics to our Zombie Go Boom universe, but also more zombie short films like Love Struck Dead and even some zombie music video parodies. Check out Composite Effects by clicking right here or on the link in the description below. Thank you so much to them. And they don't just make zombie stuff. They make a lot of kick-ass stuff. If you're into ultra-realistic special effects, especially masks, <laughs> you're going to the right place, I promise. Now it's the moment that you've all been waiting for. Scalagrim, testing a bunch of crap on our ZGB Ivanhead. Finally, I had a chance to test one of the two Ivan heads that Zombie Go Boom gave me. And I felt like testing ranged weapons for starters. First off is a horse bow of Scythian or Scythian origin with a draw weight of 45 pounds. I have this, which arrived recently. A medieval crossbow made by Todd at Todd Stuff in the UK. This here has a draw weight of 350 pounds and a test of different bolts. This is a blunt bolt, which was used in medieval times for bird hunting. Then here is kind of a regular field point, even though for a field point it is pretty wicked. And finally a bodkin, which was used for armor penetration. And um, yeah, enough of the blabbering in the intro, I'm sure you want to get to it. So uh, check out the carnage. Wonder if he glanced? Oh, really? Are you freaking curious? You broke the arrow? I broke the tip. Oh. Wow. All right, you got me pissed now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sticking right in his throat. In the Adam's apple, actually. And uh, now I've wasted two arrows on this sucker. You're gonna pay for this, my friend. You will. Now, we're gonna be serious here. Actually, that's not just for safety. I can also see better now. Yeah, I'm going a little snow blind. Snow blind, yeah, yeah, a little bit. Everything's starting to go a little pink. <laughs> yeah. It did crack the bone. It did. That would be a hospital trip right there. Yep. A zombie? Yeah, not so much. On a real person, that might have been a concussion. But uh, that one, not so much. Have some juicy brain chew on this. You don't mess with a medieval crossbowman. You just don't. Quite a bit of penetration. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's, that's what she said. It just went through the jaw muscle. That's a very precise way of disabling a zombie. <laughs> Damn. You're looking to chew on anything anytime soon. Well, that is gruesome. Some massive damage. Like the, the thing went so far in, apparently the wooden fletching started to cut into the skull. Yeah. Yep, nice and gory. And fortunately the fletching is fine. So this is quite impressive, I can almost get two fingers in there it broke quite a bit of the skull and uh, yeah as you saw it went all the way through but, um, yeah just 
one piece of the skull just completely broken, separated from the rest. You could literally scoop out his brain <laughs> through that. Yeah, I know this doesn't particularly look like brain, but it's what I have, whatever. I don't think I have to say much. This speaks for itself. Surprisingly easy to get it out. Welcome to Zombie Anatomy 101, Lecture 1, the inside of the skull. To watch the full tests, more sword stuff, and more tests to come, please subscribe to Scalagrim, link in the description below. Click on the screen to the left to check out last week's Zombie Survivor Show. Click on the screen in the middle to check out Scalagrim. Click on the screen to the right to check out Composite Effects. And please, please, please check out our Facebook page to vote on the axe design that you most want to turn into a reality. Thank you guys and we'll see you tomorrow with another mind-blowing test from Zombie Go Boom.